tracking for the Oculus Quest was announced at Oculus Connect 6. We didn't think we'd see this feature for another year, but Oculus surprised us early. This feature allows the Quest to track your hand movements. There's a lot of misinformation going around about the hand tracking update, so I'm here to clear some of that up. If you haven't gotten the hand tracking update yet, don't worry, it's coming. Oculus tends to release updates in a rolling format, meaning only a few people get it at a time. Keep checking your About section to see if your Quest is ready for the update. So, once the Update 12 applies to your Quest, you'll have to actually turn on hand tracking. So you'll do that by going into your settings, right here, see all, over on the, on the left side here, there's experimental features. You have to actually select here to turn on the hand tracking. Then you'll see here at the bottom it changed. Um, it says use hands. So what you'll do to, to turn that on obviously is just click it with your controller. Let the controllers hang down. And as you can see, my hands are now being tracked within the quest. So, and you'll see pointers actually on the screen coming out of my hands. So the premise of this is point to where you want to go. So let's let's go over here to my library and you're you're actually pinching to make selections. You'll see how that kind of changes when I pinch. You can only currently do that with your index finger and your thumb together. You can't do any other fingers. It won't recognize that unfortunately right now, but it is coming. I'm sure they're going to make it better. It's only in beta right now, so um, it will get better. So let's say I want to go select a game. So obviously I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to go scroll. To scroll, actually, you're going to pinch and pull, kind of like you're on a touch screen. Or, you, or you're using a controller with the trigger to navigate the menu. So you're going to pull up and down. And now, once you select a game, like let's say I want to play Beat Saber today, and it says controllers are required. So obviously Beat Saber doesn't support hand tracking at all. No games do. So I will have to actually take my controller again and hit continue to launch it. And that's basically it. Make sure you have plenty of light and nothing's blocking that light from the cameras on your Quest. If that happens, it might have loss of tracking and stuttering. A lot of people are also wondering what games and apps support hand tracking. Currently, there are no games out for the hand tracking update because they're not releasing the SDK to developers until this week. The only way you can use hand tracking is within the Oculus menus. You can also use it to navigate the internet browser and Oculus TV. This is a good start to hand tracking from Oculus. I would love to see this implemented in games like The Climb, Box VR, and The Under Presents. We do know that games like Big Screen and Waltz of the Wizard are getting hand tracking in the near future. What games do you want to see in hand tracking? Leave it in the comments below. If there's any questions I didn't answer here that you still have, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.